Hello and good morning y'all and welcome to Lakefront Restaurant. This is going to be another one of those games where we're working overnight in a place that has like ghosts or serial killers or like Tickle Me Elmo or something's haunting us or trying to kill us. I don't know what. But we're working in a restaurant overnight. General story is it's the middle of the night. We get a phone call. We get a cover for our co-worker and we're working alone. So you know it's that kind of setup. Uh, what caught my attention with this one, though, is that it says there's randomized gameplay events that don't affect the story. So each playthrough might be a little bit different. That sounds cool to me. Uh, so without further ado, I'm just going to hop into it now. And also, as always, I have it linked in the description. But let's head into Lakefront Restaurant. New game. I have seen the opening scene just to make sure the game kind of worked right, but beyond that, we're kind of blind in this. So we'll see what happens. Hey James, it's Patty. I'm sorry for calling so late in the evening, but we have a situation. The dishwasher for the night called in a little while ago and claimed he was sick tonight. Could you come in and cover his shift? I would, but tonight I have more important matters to deal with. I'll mark it down as overtime to compensate you for it, of course. Overtime? Frickin' I will deal with anything for some overtime washing dishes. Serial killers, Teletubbies replays, stepping on a Lego. Okay, maybe not that. But give me the overtime pay, I will clean those dishes, no problem. Okay. Yeah, this game, like, from what I can tell already, has, like, a really good production value to it. We got, like, you know, the really chunky PS1 aesthetic that a lot of games on Itch like to use. But it looks like the game's presentation itself is pretty good. Uh, so let's just look around the lobby really quick. I kind of get like a little bit of like a Joe's Diner vibe, which was like a really low budget horror game that came out like 10 years ago. Where you worked overnight in a restaurant and there were ghosts in it and you had to like clean the restaurant without making too much noise. Or you'd wake up like vengeful spirits. Alright, so we got our, our toilets here. Same thing here, like any like Silent Hill for the room style holes in the wall, no? Okay. The light switches, do they work? Yep. What else we got? Got a little diner set up here. Alright, cool. So a nice little basic restaurant that serves double cheeseburgers and cheeseburgers. And coffee. And coffee accessories. And four things of soda. Well, three things of soda and water. That's obviously Sprite, Coke, Diet Coke. Okay. No Dr. Pepper, though. It's tragic. And it is... What does it say? October... I think it's, it's either 1985 or 1993. I think it's 90, 93. Okay. So we got a time clock here. And what's this? Put away dishes. Okay. What's this? Is that, right? is that music? Yeah. Okay. Hey, James. Again, sorry for having you come in so late. You remember how to do dishes, right? Just take the dishes and place them onto the rack, then push them into the dishwasher and start it up. Once they're done, you can just put them with the other ones. I'll be out of town for the rest of the evening, but I'll give you extra money tomorrow. Thanks, Patty. So these are the dishes, I guess, and... Is it this? Activate dishwasher. Uh, place dirty dishes. Activate dishwasher. Can we read this? Dish room job description. Wash all dishes. This includes plates, bowls, silverware, and cups. Before leaving at the end of your shift, make sure all dishes are complete and put away. Make sure the trash has been taken out. Sweep and mop the floor. Turn out all the lights. If you don't understand any of the above duties, make sure to ask. Thanks, management. If you don't understand any of those duties, you probably should be looking for a new job. <laughs> Alright, so we got more dishes. Are these dirty? Are these clean? These are clean. Um... And be like scattered around the diner because I doubt Patty just left me with like one thing of dishes. What we got in here? Is that like a mushroom? What is that? A ceiling fan? I can't tell. A hat? Electric box. That's definitely toilet paper dispensers, soap dispensers, a phone. What's in here? Well, did I just see a ghost? Was that like a ghost guy that walked by the front of the door? I think it was. I think I saw like two little white eyes. What else we got here? Oh, we got dishes and we got subway bread. Ooh, okay. 
So I'm going to assume this, when they said randomized gameplay events, I'm going to assume it probably means like ghost appearances and stuff. Maybe we got like a mortuary assistant sort of deal going on here. I don't know. I'm just going to assume we have like just randomized ghosts or something. I somehow doubt we can die in this. This doesn't seem like you're going to get chased. I, this feels more like we're going to do a narrative and they're going to try and spook us a bit. Alright, let's put that away. Moving on. I feel like the obvious scare is have someone stand in that window as you walk in here, just front and center, and you gotta, like, gotta approach them. That seems obvious. Probably flickering the lights is gonna be another one that happens. They have all those light switches. That seems like just an easy scare to do. This radio, probably. Maybe saying the rooms I left open. I wonder, like, I just, I'm just trying to, like, wonder what they're gonna do. But do I gotta take out the trash and stuff, or no? Because I think the note just said I had to wash the dishes. I don't mind doing more, you know, it's overtime. The longer I stay in here with my little demon friends, be it, like, Satan, Lucifer, little Nicky, I don't care. Oh, you closed the door. Oh, aren't you a little cheeky bastard? Um, the longer I stay in here, the more money I make, and I don't really care. What are they going to do? Me scare me? I'm already working a dishwashing job in a restaurant in the middle of the night. Like, this is how desperate I am to, like, pay rent, you know? This is fine. This is A-OK. -okay. Put that away. Let's go for this. I'm waiting for something to happen. Halt. Got the dishwasher started. I did it. In the dark. Little jokesters. Do some freaking hatchling slasher Nosferatu stuff. Turn off the light on me. So rude. So we got two more bundles of dishes here. Is it a bundle of dishes? A stack of dishes? I like how all the dishes are stacked the same way. We got five dishes on the bottom. We got like a little Tupperware or cup thing. And like some knives on top. Very uniform. Actually moderately impressive. Also, just a lot of dishes in general. Like, they had, like, what, like, at least, like, 60 dishes. Or maybe not 60, but at least, like, 50 dishes to be washed. Nice busy night, you know? Especially for a little burger joint. Usually they just wrap that stuff, like, up on the up in the paper, hand it to you in, a, like, a paper bag. On top of that. But nope, this place, full on dishes. Give you a steak knife for your burger. That's the only thing I saw on the menu, at least. Gonna get some jams. Just want to appreciate the jams a little bit. Hmm? I can't move. Hi. Ooh, this is new. Ooh, do we like open up a new place? Hmm. Go on. So we're gonna just have stuff on the walls here. Nine. Three. Nine. What does the back of that say? I can't tell. Something why. Why did you something? It's a kind of like scribbled out. What do we got here? We got a little key code. Year. Nin the calendar. 993. Just had to wait. 
Oh, come on. This doesn't look safe. Whatever. It's overtime. It's time and a half. It's fine. Who cares? Can't say. Oh, wait. It's a flashlight. I was like, what is that light source? Hi! Sorry, can you tell me what that light source was? Is that you, by the way, Tom the Tamale Man? It's gotta be Tom the Tamale Man. Him selling his tamales in the middle of, like, hell. Door locked. I just flash light. <laughs> the sake of people's eyes, I will not be doing that anymore, but you just, you gotta. You gotta make sure the flashlight's nice and charged up, you know? That wasn't me, they turned that off on me. Little dick. Tea kettle's going off, we're in a theme park, or some child just got the best birthday gift of her life. That was like the sound I made when I got like a PS1 or like an N64 as a kid. Or no, especially the GameCube. No, Dreamcast. I freaked out from my Dreamcast. Tom, was it a Dreamcast? I know I gotta I know I gotta go up to you. Was it a Dreamcast? Look at what happened. She was taken away from me. Like wind to a flame. Extinguished. The people mourn, but will soon rush to the next tragedy. Justice won't be served. That's where I come in. What's this? Flowers? Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. Good vibes in this game so far, though. Can't lie. It was all a dream. Trash sweep mop? Can't open that now. Am I like turning off all the lights? Close. So we can just turn these off. That door is just stuck. I'm assuming it's turning off the lights then, because I haven't seen like anywhere to sweep. That's something crazy. Clocking out? Did I miss something? Cause I can't leave. So I don't know what I'm really doing right now. Oh wait, how long has this been open? How long did I miss that? Huh. It's a big restaurant though, a lot of hallway space. It was too much hallway space, but you know, I digress. We're in the bathroom. We can flush, remember. Remember what? This is not what I remember the lobby looking like. Okay. Got a really good atmosphere on this. 
It's, it's, it's pretty creepy. It's like, it's psychological. Like, this isn't like very like in your face jump scare, but like it is pretty unsettling for like one of these like kind of PS1 styled uh, itch horror games here. Like this is, this is pretty well done, like atmosphere wise. I see like a good few people getting spooked out by this, but yeah, not bad. I just wonder, like, how randomized it could get. Going back this way now. I suppose so. But, you know, the longer I'm stuck in this dimension, the more they got to pay me for overtime, so they better let me out soon. Or I'll be claiming all the money that's rightfully mine. He's got freaking flashlight eyes, dude. Okay, there's nothing on screen. There's nothing for me to do here. Oh, here we go. Is that Shrek? Oh, no, it's not Shrek. It looked like Shrek in the corner for a second. I can assure you it's not Shrek. Turn the TV off. I guess we wanted to. Not allowed in here. It won't budge. Pie. Locked. Ooh, pizza. I like a Mia some pizza. Also locked. Open that one. This one's locked. Okay, so we got two doors that we can open. Always flush. Okay. Police reports have just been released announcing that the incident involving 19-year-old Samantha Moore has been ruled a homicide by detectives. Police are currently investigating the owner and the employees of the establishment. Updates will be announced once more information has been released to the public. Someone was murdered? Samantha? Was their name Samantha? Is that what they said? I didn't murder nobody. I don't get paid time and a half to murder. What is switching the power do? I have no idea. Where am I going? Investigators currently have a main suspect in custody and will be working tirelessly to make sure the one responsible will be properly charged and prosecuted. I think I stepped like one foot in here and I locked myself out of the room. I feel creeping out of me at every waking moment. Doctors keep prescribing medication that doesn't work. I can feel my mind slipping away. And I see how it affects everyone around me. Dad said working would keep my mind busy, but it hasn't helped much. I just want it all to stop before it happens again. Hello? Hey James, it's Patty. Okay. I'm sorry for calling so late in the evening, but we have a situation dishwasher for the night called in a little while ago 
and claimed he was sick tonight. Could you come in and cover his shift? I would, but tonight I have more important matters to deal with. I'll mark it down as overtime to compensate for it, of course. Like a moth to a flame, trying to take it for yourself and escape, but it burns you and scars you, yet you keep flying at it, hoping for a different result. Ending one of two. There's two endings, okay. I can't just leave. What does it say? I need to finish before I leave. Um, Claire's thing, I don't really know what I could do differently to get a different ending. I don't know. Huh. That's really cool. So I'll leave the second ending up to other people to find. Because that was like 20 minutes of this. Um, I just don't know what else I could do to get a different ending right now off the top of my head. I'm sure there was something I could do, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this was actually genuinely really well made. There was a creepy atmosphere. We got like a pretty nice narrative going. Um, it reminds me of like Mortuary Assistant in some ways. Joe's Diner, which I know isn't a very high accolade in others. Maybe, I think PT is too obvious and like too easy of a cop out one to say it reminds me of it. But in a way, it kind of does, like, in this weird, odd, strange way, uh, but not quite. I don't know, it was, it was, like, really its own thing that definitely drew inspiration from other projects, which is, like, usually how these things go. Um, but yeah, that was Lakefront Restaurant. This was pretty cool. Uh, again, I'll have it linked in the description if you want to play this yourself. But uh, that's going to do it for me. Really liked this one. And just, you know, thank you all very much for watching. Y'all have a lovely day. And as always, toodles, y'all.